guys and welcome to another video and so today I'm going to be doing my January wrap up and my February TBR because yeah it's the end of January so I'm just going to get right into it. I read a total of 5 books. One of them I don't have with me at home because I didn't bring it with me because I'm stupid. But so I'm just going to get right into that. So the first book that I read was Lifeblood by Gina Showalter and this is the second book in the Everlife trilogy, the Lifeblood trilogy, I don't remember. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars because I love this series so much. So the second book tells the events after the ending of the first book. I'm not going to spoil because I'm not about that life, first of all. Second of all, there is some events that happen at the end of First Life that kind of weigh in on the second book. But it was so good and the cover for the last book, Ever Life, has come out and I'm going to freak out because it's coming out next month and then I can just scream eternally. But yeah, I really loved the way the story was told because it's told in Troika, which is basically one of the two places you go after you die and it's really good. There are some like there's some events you don't want to see happening and I love the writing style and the characters blew me away yet again and the romance yet again blew me away. So I'm very happy that I got to read this second book. The next book is a book that I'm rereading and I am actually wearing a shirt from that series because I got it in a box back when the second movie came out so I'm just going to get into that. So this next book I read was The Maze Runner by James Dashner and this is my, my third time rereading it. The first time I read it was a few years ago and then I reread it on audiobook last summer and then I actually bought myself a physical copy. My friend has a copy of mine so I bought another one and now I have all three of them in the original covers and in the movie covers which is nice but I ended up giving this book I think a 5 out of 5 stars or 4 out of 5 stars just because I enjoyed the series so much. My favorite characters have emerged from this series. Yeah so I end up did giving it a 5 out of 5 stars. It's one of my favorite series ever I want to say because it's just a lot of my favorite characters have emerged from the series as we know from me talking about Newt like every other video. But you know like not only is Newt my favorite character in this book but Chuck is. Chuck is just like a ball of sass and I love him and he's so precious. So I picked up the first book this month in anticipation for the Death Cure movie coming out the end of this month which is already out by the time you're watching this. So. Yeah, there will be a vlog when I go see that movie because I haven't seen it yet. This was awesome. I loved my reread. I annotated it. There are some notes in here that I'm just kind of like laughing because when I'm reading back, I kind of figure out some things that you find out later in the series and it kind of happens. The next book that I read is another reread. So th this month was a month of rereads for me, honestly. It was. But so I'm in anticipation for Queen of Air and Darkness. I I'm trying to read all of the Cassie Clare books in their chronologicalness, so I'm not starting with the Mortal Instruments, I'm starting with Infernal Devices. So in order to do that, I started with Clockwork Angel. I annotated this one, which is like little notes of like, you know, this is where we get information, or like favorite character, or my precious son, like something like that. I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars just because I love Tessa, and I love the boys are boys, Jim and Will, and I definitely do want to continue on reading this series so that way I can be all caught up with my uh, characters for Queen of Air and Darkness. The next two books have to do with Maze Runner yet again. I ended up breezing through the Maze Runner pretty quickly, so I picked up the Scorch Trials, which I did annotate myself to. I love I don't this is not my favorite one in the series this is like it, it has that middle book slump sometimes but I ended up I ended up giving it a five stars but I feel like it was four and a half so I just kind of rounded up but the second book has that second book vibe where it's like kind of like slow at some points and nothing really happens besides meeting like major characters that we find for the death cure but 
overall I did enjoy it. I liked some of the characters' dynamics. Brenda, she's probably one of my favorite lady characters in the series. Like, you find out she's kind of weird. <laughs> but, you know, I like her because of her weirdness. So, I gave this five stars. And I'm excited for the death cure. And then the last book, or novella, or something, is the maze, the death cure graphic novel prelude thing. And so I picked it up because I got it for Christmas and I figured, you know, I'd, I'd get to it. And I loved it. I was crying by the end of it. Like, I really wanted this because it, I think it tells you from like three different points of view. One is from Thomas's point of view, uh, when they are trying to get Minho back, and then there's Gally, who, he ends up dying in the movie, but I think he's coming back, so, yeah, I really, and then the last one I think was from when Teresa went into the maze, I'm not completely sure, but I ended up crying just because I loved all the characters, and we got to see my favorite characters in, like, graphic form, and it made me very happy, and I gave this a five stars, so I think this was a five star month. Weird. So going on to the books that I want to finish in February or by the end of this month, which is tomorrow or the next day. So I am in the middle of reading The Death Care by James Dashner, which is the third and final book in the Maze Runner series. Okay, so this is the third and final book in the Maze Runner series or trilogy thing. I don't even know because it's got some prequels going on in this, this business. But it follows the events of the Scorch Trials. I'm only six chapters in. I'm at an important part where I find out some things that I remember happening. I'm excited to get to this one. I'm annotating this one as well with some post-it notes. And I'm very excited to get into the story. I'm not excited to get to one of the pages in this book because of some things that do happen. Which you guys will know if you've watched me talk about this book. The next book that I do plan on finishing or starting or even like getting into this month is Zenith by Sasha Osberg and Lindsay Cummings and fun fact today was the day where like when, if you pre-ordered this book you would get a necklace so I got my Marauder's necklace I don't know if you can see but they say Marauder, Fly True, and Zenith and it's so pretty and beautiful and I'm wearing it right now because I got it in my mailbox at school and it's very beautiful. So I'm planning on getting to Zenith because I have yet to read it and I think everybody's raving how good it is. So I want to see what the hype is myself. I did read the prologue but I haven't gotten through the first chapter because I've been busy and I'm in the middle of like two other books. So I've been just making my way through this. The next book I had on my TBR for January and I didn't get to it because I didn't have time and plus I read five books which is like very ambitious for me so yeah and that is Library of Souls by Ransom Briggs. Yet again I have yet to read this book. I haven't finished this series, this trilogy yet. Looking forward to it though because everybody loves it, Jesse the Reader loves it and I just want to get to it because it looks really interesting. The next book I've mentioned in another video and I did get this book for Christmas and I am going to try and use this book for my internship and that is Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albert Holly. And everybody and their mother loves this book. And the movie's coming out soon and I figured like why not try and read this book because it's like coming out in March the movie. So I want to try and read it and it looks really cute and I'm excited to get to it. The last two books are related to each other because I did read Clockwork Angel in January, so now I'm going to try and read Clockwork Prince and Clockwork Princess, both by Cassandra Clare. I started reading Clockwork Prince, but I never finished. I never really like, continued on, or at least I think I'm only on the first chapter. Yeah, I'm on the, I'm on the prologue, so I haven't started anything yet, and I really only get to these by the end of February, so that way I'm on track with myself of finishing this series, because I'm trying to finish it earlier so that way I can just like remember myself. So that was my uh, January wrap up and my February TBR. I hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Olivia here on Bookish Burkhead's Science Channel and I hope to see you soon in another video. Bye!